Hey everybody, this is Natural Resources for September 21st. I'm Mr. Sheridan. I hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, we are starting a new unit today. So we are going to be talking about plants, how they grow, how they're classified, what their cell structure is like, how they reproduce, all of those things. We're going to get into it uh, to start talking about plant and soil science. So how we're going to start doing that is through a website that you can find through your Google Classroom. So when you go to Google Classroom, you'll see every single day, please do your daily attendance and your daily check-in. These should be like old hat to you. These should not take very long. Please get those done. I have not posted your agenda today. I apologize. I will get that in there so that you can see what it is that we're gonna do for the rest of this week. It's done. I just haven't posted it in Classroom. So for today, this is your assignment. We are gonna use a website called CK12. CK12 uh, was put together by folks that got a grant to do some online learning for people and it's free and allows, it's basically like an online textbook. So every day, and yours is gonna look a little bit different than mine because I'm a, I'm a teacher. So this lets me look at all the assignments that were turned in in each different class. What I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna go in to preview the assignment. And this is, if you think about this like the page out of a textbook, what I'm gonna ask you to do is read through this document. So this is all that you have to read today. This is it. Now, I want you to know that there are some words down in here that are that are big boy and girl words. Okay, there's some there's some big ones in here. So I want you to slow down and pay attention and listen to what those mean. You may have the way that this website works. All these that are in green, you can click on those links if you're interested in something like that. So if you don't know what an organelle is. Mem membrane bound organelles. So I have no idea what an organelle is. I didn't take biology yet. I want to find out what an organelle is. So you, if you click on that link, it will take you right here and you can do a reading about organelles. And then you can just go through and talk about what, what a eukaryotic cell is. So if you don't know what a eukaryotic cell is, then you need to find that out. So eukaryotic cells, uh, uh, eukaryotes have cells with nuclei that contain DNA and membrane bound organelles such as mitochondria. So those are, there's a lot of big words in there, but you need to know what that means. So if you need to, if, if you have a question you just can't figure out from this context what a eukaryote is, that's a question that you should ask. And I'd be happy to answer it and I can help you with that stuff. So there's a couple things that you're gonna have to do to complete the assignment for today. So first of all, you need to read through this. So there's one, two, three paragraphs that you need to read. You're welcome to go through and do more reading if you like. If you want to read these summaries, great. A lot of times there are questions down here that you'll need to do for review. Those aren't required, but probably a good thing to read through so that you understood the lesson. But what you do need to do is click down here on this YouTube video. Today's video is eight minutes long. It's a little bit longer than a lot of the videos that are list posted on CK12. The woman that happens to narrate this one has a bit of a different accent, so it's a it's something that you're going to have to pay attention to. And again, just like up here, there's some big boy and girl words. There's some some big girl words that are used down in here too. So um, so it's something that we got to pay attention to, and it's annotated, and you can um, uh, you can it, it actually dictates the words up there so that you can see how they're spelled and that sort of thing. So. For every time you get one of these assignments in your Google Classroom, you need to read through this, you need to watch a video if there's one embedded, and then you need to click down here on view practice. And this will look a little bit different for you because you're students, so it'll, uh, so it'll just say practice. It will bring up a short quiz. You'll have multiple choice questions. Sometimes you have very short answer, like fill in the blank kind of uh, questions as well. You can see that I, so far I have one out of 10 correct. You need to get 10 questions right and then you can stop. It's gonna keep asking you questions until you get 10 correct. Okay, so let's see, how do plants support animal life? Uh, plants are food for animals to eat, plants provide a place for insects to live and structure for birds, so that's all of them. So when you click them, you're gonna go here and then you can click next and you can do the next one. So right now I have two out of the 10 that I need to do. For now, I'm gonna stop for now. When you get your 10 done, it'll say, do you want to stop for now or do you want to continue to practice? So you can, if you want to do all the questions, you're more than welcome, but you need to have, you need to do at least 10. And then when you say stop for now, it'll bring you back to this page. This is very, very important. Please listen. Along the top up here, there's this black banner with a green button. And because I'm a teacher, mine says assign. Like, do you want to assign this to your class? Yours will say turn in. 
and you have to have to have to click that turn in button. You can't go back to Google Classroom and click turn in in Google Classroom because then I can't see your results and your results don't get registered on CK12. So I can't see that you completed the quiz. So sometimes there's a lot of students that have had trouble where this banner does not show up. So if it doesn't, it's not okay for you just to roll with it and turn it in. You need to make sure that that, uh, so a couple things that you can do. Number one, go back to Google Classroom, click on the link again, have it bring you back and sometimes that brings the banner up and then you can click turn in. Other times when you click on the link from Google Classroom, it asks you whether you want to open it in Chrome or Safari. It's just another browser, that's Apple's browser. You're you, sometimes clicking on Safari instead of Chrome, sometimes that will help bring up that banner. Um, but you need to see this banner and you need to click turn in once you get done. Tomorrow, we will introduce, we're gonna start a vocabulary page. So we're gonna start keeping track of some of these vocabulary words. Every one of these words that is bolded, and you can do this if you like, you can, uh, you can highlight them. You can highlight the in uh, the entire, uh, the entire, so for instance, here you go. So this is the definition of photosynthesis. Okay, so photosynthesis is the process by which plants capture the energy of sunlight and use carbon dioxide from the air and water to make their own food, the carbohydrate glucose. So you can highlight that, you, but you are going to have to on a different document that I'll give you tomorrow, you'll have to actually start a vocabulary sheet. So this is CK12. We are going to do some work in there on this in this unit. So you need to go in once you get the hang of this, it, it becomes pretty old hat and you'll go through and you'll be able to, you know, complete these assignments in 10 or 15 minutes. Might take you a little longer than that the first time, but please let me know if you have any questions and I'd be happy to help. Hope you're all having a great day. We'll see you soon.